For many years now, our users have been able to use our included fixture builder to create fixtures for the laser cutting parts. These fixtures are great for prototyping because you can simply get a piece of sheet metal and cut it straight there from there, getting all the instructions and uh, getting a, a fixture in literally minutes. We have extended this functionality now to fit the arc welding parts. And let me tell you something, the possibilities that you can get with this are simply amazing. The first thing that I recommend always when starting working with the fixture builder is to change your projection to orthographic. And we're gonna go quickly here into the fixture builder workbench with our current part. We am going to go um, just quickly to the top view and then to the side view to place the manipulator. And then we're going to select our workpiece. That is this welded part made out of uh, basically square tubes. When we create a fixture, I'm going to create a couple of extra plates just in the center of it. Uh, but you can notice immediately this is optimized for laser cutting because here at the end, since we have flat surfaces, basically what will happen with the part is it will just slide out of the fixture. There is nothing really holding it in place. To fix this, we have added a new section in our settings for the fixture. That is a uh, fixture for welding or, or fixture with flanges. So I'm going to change it here and then I'm going to click in my micro environment to update it. And immediately you're going to see all around the part, including some of the internal sections, you're going to have flanges that wrap around and then force the part to stay in place with all the individual components. These flanges can be customized directly into the parameters of the fixture. So for example, I can change the height to 40 millimeters and also the width. Whenever I click in my micro environment, this is going to update. And you can see how all of them get uh, bigger in size, depending on what you need or what your parameters of your part or your requirements. You can also modify this individually. You just have to click right in the flange and then select modify or change size. And then when the manipulator comes, you can simply drag it and slide it and you will change the size of your flange. This is huge for all the arc welding parts because the number one problem was to have some way to fit them exactly and make sure that all the different subsections stay in place. The next thing that you will see is then we have now a delayed recomputation button in the top left corner. This delayed recomputation is gonna help us when we want to modify our feature and different plates. So I'm gonna move a couple of different plates so it's more clear what is it doing. Uh, as we move the plates around the fixture, you will see that the shape of the plate itself it is um, recomputed depending on the shape of the weldment structure. But um, if you think about it, not only you have to change the individual plate, but you have to change also the base plate. That's why all the plates seem to be like floating in space. Um, so what we're doing here is then we're delaying the recomputation of the base plate until we have finished with all of the motion on the different plates that we need. And at the end, we can click this delay recomputation and we will have the base plate updated as well. So with this, we have a full fixture for our welding part and there are more things coming still. Um, for the next one, I want to show you actually in a different part that it makes a little bit more sense in the context of what we're showing. Here we have another example with a door frame and a fixture that was created exactly the same way, only with no weight reduction in the base. And we can see that there is a lot of sections in between and in the middle that might not be necessary for this fixture. And in fact, this fixture, needs to be very lightweight and we can actually create tiny little fixtures to hold this by splitting the base plate. So just in the top view, I'm gonna go and right click in the one of the axes and select split base plate. And you can see immediately now, instead of one base plate, we have two different plates separated from each other. To make it a little bit more obvious, I'm gonna delete the support plates because I'm gonna do something interesting here. And what we're going to do is uh, four tiny small base plates in order to do that, we have to have the manipulator on the top of a specific base plate. So I'm gonna move it to both sides and then click again on the axis and select split base plate. Then I'm gonna modify the size of all of these plates to make it, let's say 400 by 400 millimeters. Then I'm gonna place them in the key positions where I think this part needs some support. And then I'm gonna use the manipulator to create a set of two support plates for each one of these uh, tiny base plates, 200 millimeters for each one of them. At the end, we should be getting something like this, a fixture that is segmented only specifically where we need the support out of it. This will help for many big parts or for many parts that have only some critical sections 
to create some very specific support and all the flexibility coming out of our fixture builder. It's worth noting here that also when we do our nesting, we will get in specific instruction in each one of the base plates with the specific numbers for each one of the constructions and the subplates telling us how to build this, everything here neatly packed together. And one last thing I wanna show you about our new fixture builder is um, the possibility to create support towers. Here we have another part, very classical, typical, what we get for part that we will use with a fixture builder. Um, but sometimes some upper sections cannot be held by the lower support plates. So in this case, what we will do is we will create some extra support in the form of uh, towers. To do this, we simply have to move the manipulator to the place where we want to create a tower. And this tower can be used to support a clamp or any kind of other uh, superior fixture. Once we have selected the place, we can right click in the center of the manipulator and select add tower. We'll have different parameters for the sizing, the width, um, how is it measured, and if we want to have a top plate or not. Once we set it up, we can simply see how this tower is created, including some weight reduction. And this is very flexible. At any point, we can click any of the walls and come and modify the parameters. We can change if we want a base plate or not. We can change the orientation of the tower. We can even set and move it. And if we move it up, it will extend the plates to make it a little bit taller. So the idea is then you place your clamps on the top of it as a reference, and then you create your towers based on that. You can delete it as a unit, and then you can also create it back again exactly in the same place. So it's a great tool if you need some extra support with all the fixtures that you're gonna be building now with this great new enhancement that has come to the fixture builder in Fast Edition 2.